Hi, this is Keith Weaver with the Top Executive Strategy Podcast, where CEOs, COOs, and business owners share strategies for better success. This is six questions in nine minutes because the best strategies are concise business advice. And so we're going to be concise and get right to our great guest today. And with question number one, in a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Well, this is great. I'm Gina Shrek, and I own two businesses. I have Social Connects, which is our digital marketing agency. I've owned that business for 25 years. It has evolved from a marketing consultancy to a digital marketing agency. And then a year and a half ago, I opened a co-working space uh, here in Denver, Colorado. Sounds like you stay really busy. And like you said, a lot of evolution over the last 25 years, I'm sure. So. A lot. In the marketing world, a lot of changes. <laughs> so with all that time, question number two, tell me what's the best thing about being a business leader? Oh, I, I get so excited helping other business owners build their business. So I love helping to strategize. And I just... It, it excites me to see them actually implement what we talk about and uh, make those make those changes and growth. I think it's frustrating when you give great advice and you know that it will really help them. We all can see what works for other people and then they don't do it. It's, it's taking the action that most people just fall flat on. It's definitely good to see them actually follow through with a commitment and implement things so. yeah it's all about it it's showing up every day people ask me how have you been in business for 25 years i show up every day <laughs> you gotta keep showing up well said all right <laughs> the question work. number three then i hear from other business leaders that a lot of times their people strategy is far more challenging than their business strategy in running their business your thoughts on that yeah, if it weren't for people, wouldn't wouldn't things just be so easy? <laughs> I don't know. I I love working with people, so I think it's one of those things I enjoy. I always say now I'm in the stage of life. I'm I grandmother Willow, and I love giving um, our team, especially in developing and coaching them. So I think as a leader versus a manager, I love empowering others to do the work that I saw myself in 25 years ago. And yet bringing the lessons and wisdom that I have after 25 years and seeing this. So I, I really enjoy um, helping to develop young leaders and young people. But yeah, it's challenging for sure. But like, you, you know, it sounds like your approach is, and I think the great approach is to be proactive about it. You know, mentoring, coaching, those kind of things to really be proactive about developing those people. And so. working yourself out of the picture. I think that was one of the things that kind of ties into um, something that you had asked earlier. But, it, you know, it's how do you get yourself out of the way um, so that you can develop other people and let them do the job instead of you trying to do everything? Very good. Yeah. All right. Question number four, what strategy would you like to share with other business leaders today? Yeah, this is probably the one. This is the strategy of what I wish I would have known 25 years ago is build a business, whether you ever intend to sell it or not, build a business that could be sold. So it has to run without you. And I think as a, a new business owner, you think you have to do everything and you don't think anybody can do it as good as you can, which is usually true. Um, but if you ever want to build a business to sell, you have to work your way out of every bit of your business, including sales. If you're the only salesperson, you can never sell your business. If you're the only person that can run everything, you can never sell your business. And you can never have a business that really is sustainable. And, and therefore, usually the reason we start a business is because we want freedom and we want to be able to, to manage things and grow a business. And then we end up building a business that really is just a job. So I think one of the strategies is set yourself up, hire, hire someone before you think you can afford to hire someone and work constantly to work your way out of that business so that you have people set up to do the job and you can, you can be that visionary. E even down to the finances, setting yourself up. I think one of the best books I read is called Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. And that, that book changed the way I saw business because I thought, wow, I should be building a business that has, wow, who would have thought a profit? <laughs> and so, and to do that, you have to kind of work your way out of doing all the stuff all the time. And uh, that to me, it's, it's the hardest thing to do, 
but it's the strategy that I think any new business, um, and I love in our co-working space, I have new entrepreneurs coming in and I tell them, okay, let's sit down and chat because you need to build your business so that it can run without you doing everything. I often talk to people and, and the way I say it is, you know, every business owner should be in the mode of quitting every day, quitting something we that did. they shouldn't be doing and focusing on the things that they should be doing. Yeah. I mean, I know so many business owners that say, yeah, but my clients love talking to me. They only want to talk to me. You don't have a business. You have a job. And, you know, if you're the only one that can sell your business, which everyone I hear that all the time. Yeah, but who better to sell your business than you? You have a job. You don't have a business. So build a business that can sustain itself beyond you. And you'll really have a more profitable and enjoyable job. Right. <laughs> yeah. A lot easier said than done, but definitely the goal that in the strategy that everybody should have. Yeah, from the get-go. So question number five, what other successful business owners or CEOs like yourself would you like to maybe acknowledge and you think might be good on the podcast? Oh, wow. See, I think Mike Michalowicz is one that I always recommend lately. I go, I'm, I'm, um, I think he would be amazing. Um, other successful leaders, gosh, there's a woman here in Denver named Susan Fru, and she owns Sunshine Plumbing. So she owns a plumbing company, but then she started really helping other contract business owners build successful businesses. And she wrote a book called The Puffer puffer fish effect and brilliant you know how when you're starting out and you're small can you appear bigger and um, and her and I have had many conversations of building a business that runs when you're not there great well, yeah we'll, great. we'll see if any of either of those are available so that'd be great yeah so question number six just kind of a final fun question tell me about your favorite past boss oh uh, this is a great question. Sandy Mazur, who just recently retired from, I was in the staffing industry 30 years ago, uh, before I started my business 25 years ago. And Sandy Mazur was one of those managers, one of those bosses that made me do things I hated to do. <laughs> and yet she also saw that I love the creative side of our business and allowed me to do the fun creative pieces. But she made me present our PL statements. She made, and I was just in my early twenties and she made me learn the business of business. And I always accredit her saying, if I hadn't done those tasks and learned that at an early age, I wouldn't have been able to start my business 25 years ago and still be in business today. She, you know, she kind of pushed me in areas that she knew I needed to develop. And we need people like that, that push us we along did. sometimes. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's not all fun, right. but but make sure you also reward with allowing people to be their best and do their areas, you know, work on the areas that they enjoy. Gina, it's been so great having you on. It's been lots of fun. Before we leave, can you tell people how they can reach out to you or connect with you? I always say, if you can't find me when you Google me, I'm not doing my job as a digital marketer. So you can Google Gina Shrek. I'm everywhere, everywhere you want to be. I'm on every social channel, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, um, even on TikTok. Um, at Gina Shrek. Awesome. Again, thanks for being on. It's been a pleasure having you on. Uh, and this is Keith Weaver with the Top Executive Strategy Podcast. And for more insights and to follow us, you can go to Weaver Business Coaching. You can find us on LinkedIn. And of course, listen to us on your favorite podcast platform. And we wish you the best success.